Tanzania and Ethiopia said they had signed accords with South Korea for loans of billions of dollars, part of a broader deal that we give the Asian nation access to Africa's crucial mineral resources and vast export market. You see, truth be told, eh, to some extent, it is good that these good countries are borrowing this money on one side because they need this money, especially in the case of Ethiopia. Yes, on one side, Ethiopia need money to carry out some developmental plans they are having and inf build infrastructures and all that. But Ethiopia also have another problem. In some part of Ethiopia, there is conflict ongoing, of which the government of Ethiopia is not doing enough to bring peace or to negotiate with these people. Apply diplomacy. So, at the end of the day, I just hope that will not be the case of Ethiopia. That at the end of the day, they will borrow this money, and this money will not be fully utilized for the main purpose in which they are borrowing it, which is for urban development infrastructure and all that. But this kind of things has been done in the past in some African countries, and it did not end well. How can Ethiopia and Tanzania borrow money by giving South Korea access to their mineral resources and vast export market? Some countries have done this in the past, and it is to the detriment of these countries. The disadvantage was up to 85 or 90 percent. And up to today, some of the African countries are still suffering it. Because after years of years, they will keep restructuring these debts. And they will not be able to do it because their creditors who have access to their mineral resources and vast export market, you think they will just fold their arms and wait for you to pay them their money peacefully for them to go? No. Under the table, they will be working against every of your efforts useless in your efforts so that you won't be able to pay them their money so they will keep enjoying the inflow of your natural resources controlling your vast export market dictating for you i don't understand why these countries could not borrow this money in terms of just paying the loan back that they can control their mineral resources themselves dictate how it is sold both in domestic and international market and use the money they generate from the sales of these natural resources to be paying back these loans. It would have been far much better because then they can still control their natural resources and control their vast export market. Times are changing. Tanzania and Ethiopia can do better than this now. Yes, we are in digital age. We can see some other countries in Africa who have signed such deals. We know how it ended. That at the end, the people outside the shores of Africa that gave them the money, we are the ones that have to take control of everything that happens in the country. Because when you control a country's resources, you control a country's market, you control that country's economy, that means you control that country's people. Yeah, I expected better from Ethiopia and Tanzania. Yes, sometimes uh, you only but wonder what is really in the head of, our, of some of our African leaders. But it's just greed, self-centeredness. Yes, short-sighted.